And for a long time, Shane Breen remains our leader for Ireland in that time of 62-7-0. Megan Mossonnier of uh, France is still, I think, in uh, second spot. Look at if the uh, computer will play ball. I'll put another shilling in it, Stephen. <laughs> Yes, it's something like that. There we go. Let's I'll tell you exactly what it is. Shane Breen, again, uh, Sonnier and René Lopez making up our leading three at the moment. Or so the, we have on the screen. There we go. Yep. Piers Schwitzer going into fourth. Piers Giorgio in the fifth. We're back onto Spain. Eduardo Alvarez Asnar and the 13 uh, year old Fidux. And uh, again, he's joined a new, t he's a new one for a team this year and, and appropriately for the Spaniard Madrid. Yeah, Madrid in motion uh, for the man who was on the podium in Madrid two years ago, taking third spot there. Following in father's footsteps, his father, Luis Alvarez, a six-time Spanish Olympian, and Eduardo made his Olympic debut in Rio. He's also ridden to the Nations Cup finals and the Continental Championships in Europe. Ranked inside the world's top 100, and... Uh, as we mentioned earlier on, alongside his teammates, he gives Madrid in motion a three-strong uh, opportunity here to choose their team of two. Team of two tomorrow, and then if they wish, and they have enough riders here, they can change horses and all riders for the second GCL come Saturday. But Eddie alvarez Aznar is going to be uh, zero in 60-08, the Spanish Olympian. Yep. He wants to be selected for his team. <laughs> He's going, no, look at me, I'm here. I'm in the winner's circle at the moment. Fastest time very nearly into the 50 seconds. Good well, get the uh, Spanish off to a win here in Mexico. That would certainly be a very popular one indeed. And there we go. On to uh, Jerome Guerrero. 